Hi everybody, Kaiser here. Welcome to this week. Er, hi everybody, welcome to this week. Walking Dead episode of The Walking Dead. Hi everybody, welcome to this week. No. Hi everybody, welcome to Kaiser here. Welcome to this week's episode of The Walking Dead, episode one. Last time all around, we just found some signs. So, let's get back into the game. We decided we were going to leave during the safety of the day versus going out at night. And just killed somebody in front of her. Yep, there we go. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Uh, I said... I... I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh... Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look for help before it gets dark. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Aww. Let's go. Stay close to me. That helps because it's like blindingly loud or definitely loud. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Aww. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! Oh. We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. 
Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Lee, quick. Let's go. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. <laughs> You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's Didn't not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Yep. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. <sighs> How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Um, I, I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. And then lowers his voice. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. 
We got plenty of chores as it is. Mm. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it, really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. <laughs> There's shot. blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Okay. Do, do, do. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. That's so cute. She's so cute. I miss my mom and dad. I yeah. bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Quite a ways. Pretty far. Oh, okay. I mean, there are. I love you, baby. <laughs> I mean, I know they're out in the country, but you think it might get a little chilly in the Hey, in get the up. Oh, hello. <sighs> Can you? Yeah. Ugh, itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. <clears throat> we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence! Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! But Duck and I will hop to it. Bad idea. I can thing. keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. <laughs> hey there, girls. So, uh... What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Mm -hmm. It is. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just 
Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. So for now, I'm just going to be playing a little bit of the morally right standard that I want to do. Hey there, and then uh, I might Kenny. Play again. I'll play it later and be a little bit more of an ass or something like that. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Mm. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. Mm. Yeah. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. That See you. Seems like those two are getting along. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. Mm -hmm. I'm good. How you doing, Doc? Good! I'm going to drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Hey, don't play with the thing, kid. Probably will end up killing somebody. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. Well, if you've no, never left the flat, he doesn't. That's probably why. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. No. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Not How about yours? I mean... How's your family? Uh... My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. They might That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Hurt people because they feel that they're entitled because they're in more need than those people are hurting. Thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Yep. Yep. Heading into the barn. Off to the barn I go. I think it'll be the last thing I do.
Hello, Hello Herschel. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. Yeah. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What the? Go! I'll get my gun! them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now? Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Lock and hard place. Yep. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Uh, I don't think I want it. But I think if I don't leave, the angry farmer whose son just died and shoots me in the face with his gun. Anywho, okay, so we've just been to Herschel's farm, met Kenny and his family, and watch the kid that saved us die. So I'm going to call that a, uh, a wrap for this episode. Uh, like always, I hope you guys are enjoying The Walking Dead, and I can't wait to play more on the channel. Have a good day, and Kaiser out. Boop, boop, boop. Hi everybody, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of The Walking Dead. Like always, I'm very much enjoying the series, and I hope you are as well. 
If you look above, you'll see uh, an annotation to my last video, uh, which was the YouTuber's Life Cooking Edition, as well as a button that will link you to my channel to subscribe. As always, I hope to see you guys next time, and Kaiser out.